high student assume all your health condition is fine and good stay safe at home i hope you have understood previous this lesson today i will be discussing about land segment ray and pen before starting to this lesson let's recall point and line between point is an exact location in space it has no length no breadth and no height it cannot be measured we represent a point by a dot and named with a capital letter a now i give one example of point the twinkling stars at night are the examples of point i think we cope up about point now line line is a step path or collection of point that goes endlessly in both the direction it is a line it can goes endlessly in both the direction that is why it has no fixed length it cannot be measured also. we can name a line giving two points a and b or any english alphabet now i'll go to types of line lines are of two types number one is straight line and number two is curved line curved line is also called a curve this is a curved line and straight lines are also two types number 1 is horizontal line we can draw horizontal line in this way it goes next type of line is vertical line vertical line you draw in this way vertical a vertical line goes straight up and down i think you have understood previous this topic now i will be start thing with line segment line segment is a part of line it has a fixed length it cannot be measured so we can draw la line segment by giving two end point and by giving name c and d or any alphabet line segment has a fixed length 
the point at which line segment begins and the point at which line segment ends these are called end points that is why line segment has two end points and it can be measured so example of line segment that means this and edge of this board or this edge of this ruler are the examples of line segment now i will go for ray ray is a straight path it has one starting point and it goes endlessly in other direction we can draw ray in this way one starting point p and at point q it does not stop it goes endlessly in other direction that is why it cannot be measured because it has no fixed length so we can give one example for ray a ray of light from torch are the examples of ray now i'll come over on plane a plane is a flat surface in mathematics a plane goes on and on in all directions without end we usually walk a part of plane it can goes anywhere without end point and lines are in this plane a b c d we can name we can name only three points on it a b and c can you tell me the example of plane this total surface of the board is the example of plane and this the wall of your room this also the example of plane now student again i'll tell about line segment a part of line is called line segment we can write a line segment we can give symbol a line segment in this ab it can be measured because it has a fixed length now next the ray we can write a symbol with pq it means it has one starting point and it goes endlessly endlessly in other direction and plane you can draw in this way plane is a flat surface it can goes and go on and on in all directions without end point and lines are lie on the plane and we can give a plane by using three points on it a b and c everyday life we can give more example on plane i hope you understood everything next week or next day i'll start with angle that's all for today